Green Party MP New Zealand, Gulriz Garamond resigns over shoplifting allegations. Following many accusations of stealing, a New Zealand MP announced their resignation. Green Party politician Gulriz Garamond is charged with stealing from upscale stores at least three times. 2017 saw the lawmaker and human rights attorney, born in Iran, become the first refugee to serve in the island country's parliament. Since being elected, she was under particular pressure due to continuous threats of sexual violence, physical violence, and death threats, co-party leader, James Shaw, said. Ms. Garman blamed completely out-of-character behavior on job stress and mental health difficulties in a statement that did not address the particular charges. I am not trying to excuse my actions, but I do want to explain them. The mental health professional I see says my recent behavior is consistent with recent events giving rise to extreme stress response and relating to previously unrecognized trauma. People should, rightly, expect the highest standards of behavior from their elected representatives. I fell short. I'm sorry. It's not a behavior I can explain because it's not rational in any way, and, after medical evaluation, I understand I'm not well," Ms. Garman said. The lawmaker allegedly stole items from Creative Works in Wellington, the capital of New Zealand, and Scotty's Boutique in Ponsonby, Auckland. In a statement, the New Zealand police stated that they were looking into the reported incident that happened in December of last year at Scotty's Boutique, but they did not provide any further information. They did not certify that Ms. Garman was involved in the event. The MP who is leaving has expressed gratitude to Scotty's employees for their kindness and empathy. In a joint statement, Mr. Shaw and co-leader Marama Davidson supported Ms. Garman's decision to resign. Green MPs are expected to maintain high standards of public behavior. It is clear to us that Ms. Garman is in a state of extreme distress. She has taken responsibility and apologized. We support the decision she has made to resign, they said. President of Argentina Javier Milei says he has started discussions with the UK about the Falkland Islands. The recently appointed president of Argentina, Javier Milei, has said that he has started talking to the UK concerning the Falkland Islands and that he anticipates more talks over the sovereignty of the British colony. The remarks were made during Mr. Miley's first bilateral meeting with the UK, a private discussion with Foreign Secretary Lord Cameron, on the outskirts of the World Economic Forum meetings in Davos. During his campaign, Mr. Miley, the radical libertarian who recently won the Argentinian election, made a vow to take control over the islands. Given that Britain has already said that it has no plans to engage in diplomatic discussions about the future of the islands, the remarks are certain to cause controversy. A UK official said, on the Falkland Islands, the Foreign Secretary and President Miley said they would agree to disagree, and do so politely. The UK position and ongoing support for the Falkland Islanders' right to self-determination remains unchanged. Mr Miley also gave a speech to the politicians and business people gathered in Davos in which he warned that the Western world is in danger. Those who are meant to defend the values of the West have been co-opted by a vision of the world that inexorably leads to socialism and therefore poverty. Argentina and Britain fought a short war over the Falklands in 1982, leading to a long-standing dispute about sovereignty over the islands. Argentina refers to the Falklands as Las Malvinas. Buenos Aires has frequently attempted to reopen talks over the sovereignty of the islands, but the UK has insisted that talks would not take place as long as the people who live there choose to stay British. In 2013, 99.8% of voters approved of the islands' continued status as British territory, with only three voting against it. Hulk Hogan saves a teenage girl from car accident in Florida using ballpoint pen. After a car accident in Florida, wrestler Hulk Hogan saved a teenage girl who was stuck in an overturned vehicle. After seeing the Tampa collision, the 70-year-old shared on X, the former Twitter, that he had punctured the car's airbag with a ballpoint pen to liberate the girl. Thank you, God, all is well even now, he posted. Hogan's wife, yoga instructor Sky Daly, praised her husband's quick action on Facebook. She posted, by all appearances, she was unscathed, just really rattled, which is an absolute miracle. 
the Tampa Police Department said on Tuesday that there were minor injuries among individuals involved in the collision. Hogan, whose actual name is Terry Bolia, comes from the Tampa Bay region and is inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame. After Hogan was heard repeatedly using a racial word on a leaked recording, WWE severed their relationship with him in 2015. However, the wrestling community accepted him back into the Hall of Fame three years later. He has also had a modest acting career. With its next Galaxy smartphone lineup, Samsung plans to include Google's generative artificial intelligence AI technology. The South Korean company on Wednesday announced the S24 series and touted several new AI-powered capabilities. We will reshape the technology landscape, we will open a new chapter without barriers to unleash your potential, TM Rowe, the president of Samsung's mobile experience division, told a crowd in San Jose, California. The phones will be equipped with Google's most efficient large language model, Gemini Nano, and will have cloud-based access to Gemini Pro and Imagen 2 text-to-image technology. Live translation in 13 languages and 17 dialects will be offered during phone calls via one AI tool. Additionally, users will be able to use AI-powered categorization and summarization tools on Samsung's apps, including notes, voice recorder, and the keyboard. In the Gallery app, the iMagin model will assist users in carrying out intricate picture editing activities. This feature has the potential to improve users' photos but may also make it simpler to produce deceptive images. Google's Circle to Search feature, which enables users to circle text passages, portions of images, or videos to obtain fast search results concerning what has been highlighted, will also be available on the new phones. The end of January is when the new phones will be on sale. Google and Microsoft are vying to include generative AI into commonplace software, computers, and smartphone apps to find new ways to monetize the technology. AI is already present in Google's Pixel phones, with the capacity to modify the visual aspects of images. Additionally, it is bringing the Circle to Search feature to its most recent phones, the Pixel 8 and Pixel 8 Pro, with intentions to extend it to additional Android-powered devices later in the year. Apple is expected to put more AI into its next generation of iPhones in September, but for now, Samsung has a head start on the push to get the technology into people's pockets. On her wedding day in Mexico, a bride arrested and handcuffed. On her wedding day in Mexico, a woman was detained for suspected extortion and was seen handcuffed in her flowing white gown as police encircled her. Officers ambushed the wedding, preventing the woman, whom state prosecutors have only identified as Nancy N., from even entering the chapel. Local media sources state that she was arrested as she exited her car and entered the Villa Guerrero Chapel. The man she is about to marry, Clemente N., goes by the moniker El Raton, which means mouse. He was sought for the same offenses, but was able to get away. Authorities added that the two people and others are suspected of kidnapping four employees from a poultry store and of extorting chicken vendors in Toluca, close to Mexico City. Images of the defendants apprehended during the operation in December were shared on social media by the prosecutor's office. One of the images showed the bride in her wedding gown, handcuffed, and standing next to law enforcement. Authorities said that the gang was associated with the La Familia Michoacana drug cartel. The cops are still looking into this.